As I shoot this video, it's just about the end of July. It's a pretty good time for an update. Number one, I wanted to show you how our potato harvest is doing. The first potato harvest here in Missouri for us. But also, I wanted to show you how the hokey pokey composting system that I've tried to develop is coming along so far as well. I just finished mowing all the yard out here a few days ago. Oh, well, yesterday, but over the past few days. It takes definitely more than one day to mow this yard. And I finished off all the last load of sawdust that I had. So I just drove down and picked up another load. Right now, and I'm not going to make you watch this, but I need to shovel this sawdust into these bins and stack them up there in the tractor barn. Our potato harvest this year has been the best we have ever had. Wendy has dug up a little more than half of the potatoes. She didn't want to be on camera, but uh, let me show you some of those potatoes. She's also been busy preserving some other things. As long as we're doing updates, our new chickens are doing pretty well. They're getting bigger. We're still a couple months away from getting fresh eggs. It's been fun. The very first thing in the morning, I come out to open their door. They can come out and explore around a little bit. And the last thing I do just after the sun goes down is come back out to close them up. 
that keeps them safe from predators even though we do have the electric fence it's best to keep them closed up in the coop it's nice to come outside just after dark because the fireflies are out you know it's just just kind of magical check this out all of our chickens when it gets close to evening like this like to huddle up really close to their water hello chickens everybody okay Yeah, it's okay. Bonus points. The last two nights, none of the chickens have been remaining outside. They've all gone in by themselves, and I'm very glad not to have to chase down stragglers. The sawdust has been safely stored and my two control compost piles have been topped off. We have control piles because this hokey pokey composting system is an experiment. If you haven't seen my first video about this, you should check it out. The vast majority of material that goes in there is grass and sawdust. I have been throwing in some weeds too though. This is about as high as the compost has gotten so far. It's continually shrinking as the composting takes place. These perforated PVC pipes provide aeration and irrigation without having to turn the pile. Naturally, right around the pipes, the composting happens a little bit faster and it shrinks a little bit more there, but that's fine with me. We have a few well-established fruit trees out here, and naturally we get a lot of premature fruit falling. Those gaps are a good place to put the wasted fruit. Now all I have to do is top this off with my remaining extra sawdust. I forgot I was going to mention this part. I was brush hogging to clear the paths out and around here and I accidentally hit the PVC pipe structure. I didn't hit it with the brush hog. It was this PVC pipe up here that got clipped. I hit it with the top bar up there and it knocked the weld loose on one of these sections. To correct that, I've just got this bungee cord temporarily kind of holding it up as a makeshift workaround for the time being.
Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.